I want to give you an overview of one of the SCADA software that I often work with, that is Ignition Software. Now, my goal is to introduce you to the software so you know about it and potentially use it in your projects. I will be using this software as well in showing you a SCADA project demo in a separate video. Just a disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Inductive Automation. I honestly love their software and I use it in my projects. And we actually use it in industry as well. So I thought to introduce you to the software so you get familiar with it. Ignition software is a software for SCADA that is provided by Inductive Automation. It is a great software that has a user interface, as you can see over here, that can be designed to show your process in real time. In fact, Inductive Automation provides different um, applications and solutions for many areas within industrial automation. For example, IIoT, um, HMI, alarming, reporting, and SCADA is one of them. Now to download the software, you click on Download Ignition. And then the website actually detects your system. For example, here it's showing a download installer for Windows. So once you click on download for Windows, you need to fill in the information and then you click on download. I'm going to leave the links of everything I cover here in the description box below this video. Inductive Automation website has another website called Inductive University. And this website has great tutorials and videos to help you um, navigating the software. So for example, here, when you click on Ignition Overview, you can have different videos on how to use the software, how to actually download it and install it on your device. Now, this is how the page looks like if you don't, um, if you're not logged in, uh, but you can simply just register from here. I obviously um, have an account and I logged in, but you can see the videos once you actually sign up. You can also check this reference from Inductive Automation, the startup guide where it goes through step by step on how to install and launch the software. The Ignition software has two main parts. Ignition Getaway web page, this here, and Ignition Designer. Now the software has other parts as well to accommodate your design, um, but I will go through the other parts in a separate video. For this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Ignition Getaway web page and Ignition Designer. Now in general, the Ignition Getaway web page is for settings and configurations. And Ignition Designer, as the name indicates, is for designing the project. Now I want to show you a clip of a SCADA project I worked on using Ignition software. So what you see here is I'm using Ignition Designer as an HMI to show three conveyors of um, factory settings um, to show the three conveyors here in real time. The basic flow when using Ignition software is that first you start with Ignition Getaway web page for settings, then you launch the designer to design the details of the HMI or your SCADA project, and once you save the project, then you can access it using many local or remote applications or devices. Now this is how Ignition um, Getaway web page looks like. It is a web server, so you can access Ignition Getaway web page using any browser. Um, Ignition supports most of web uh, browsers like Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Firefox, etc. I'm currently using Microsoft Edge. Now, um, since you have the software downloaded on your local computer once you download it and install it, then you can access this web page by going to localhost um, colon 8088. Um, then once you have this web page, you need to create um, a login credentials. Um, and I want you once you create the login credentials is to save them, save the username and password because you're going to need to use it to log into this web page as well as um, Ignition Designer. I just logged in 
everything looks exactly the same, but you can now have access to the three parts within um, Ignition Getaway web page, um, the home uh, section, the status, and the configure. Now the orange banner here um, is showing you a free the free trial timer. It is a free for two hours. So even if you don't have license applied to your software, um, you can still get two hours, two trial hours uh, with full functionality of Ignition software. Now, uh, once the start period ends, you can simply just reset it. So for now, I'm going to click on reset trial. And now I have two hours of full functionality of Ignition um, software. Now the home section here that I'm clicking on home, um, you have access to um, Ignition Designer, which is the second part that I talked to you about, or the other parts, uh, which is Vision uh, Client Launcher, etc. And if you scroll down, you can get more resources. This is a click to go to Inductive University. And you can also see here, for example, some of the product uh, documentation and other resources. The status here is to show you the status of your system. Um, I'm not going to go through a lot of details, but um, if there's anything wrong, which is here, the OVC uh, connection, so it says there's some fault because I don't have it activated, but it gives you a um, general idea of, about the status of the Ignition software that you're using. So later on, for example, if I have some issues and I don't know what's going on, I can come here and check, is it the device? Is it the OPC connection, etc. The third one, which is um, the configure here, the configure section, this section is literally is where you can add the settings for all the different parts of Ignition software. And for me, this section is where you actually set up what is needed for your SCADA system. So you can find everything you need. You can find the licensing, the modules, the projects, um, if you, you can check the security. If you scroll down, you can even have the settings for the OPC um, um, connections, the device connections, etc. And um, under the configure section, you also have a, a search bar. So for example, let's say I'm looking for um, OPC and then it tells me exactly where the OPC um, connections are. So it's under either devices or OPC connection, etc. To access Ignition Designer, to launch Ignition Designer, which is the second part that I'm covering for Ignition uh, software, you can uh, do that by getting the designer first if you don't have it on your computer. And then you can download it. Again, it detects that this is a Windows system, so you can download that and install it on your computer. So you can open it by double click on the designer launcher. Then you select the local host and then you click on Open Designer. And you need to use the same credentials that you had for Ignition Getaway. So you have the same username, the same email, and the same password. And here you can either open a previous project or you can create a new project. So I'm going to open the demo and this is the designer user interface window. Um, this is where the project development happens and where you can design your system, like for example, creating an HMI for your SCADA project. In the middle is where the main development happens. So I'm going to open just a previous um, demo that I worked on. And now the left, um, hand side uh, windows or panels and the right hand side uh, window is to facilitate the development of your project. So I can have some inputs, outputs, um, some display, etc. Now this is just an overview. I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of details but I can have a separate video for each section. Um, let me know if you want a separate video for each one but I thought just to introduce you just in general on how the, um, the software looks like. 
So this is actually what I used here in this project that I um, showed you. This is a previous project, a SCADA project that I worked on. So I used Ignition Designer to come up with just a simple design of showing the different conveyors and the number of boxes that are being sorted out um, in this factory setting. So I used an HMI to monitor the process in real time. And this demo, this project demo, is very similar to a project that I actually teach in my LinkedIn Learning course, if you want to check it out. So I use Ignition software, I use the same um, software for the factory setting, and I transfer data from the um, software all the way to Ignition um, software and using Ignition Designer to create an HMI. Now I want to take some time to show you where the SCADA software actually placed in a SCADA system. So what you see on the screen here is how, um, in general, how a SCADA project looks like. There are obviously many other ways to show SCADA system, but this is just a simple um, layout to show you the idea of a SCADA system. So first, you have a factor process. It could be any process. Um, like for example sorting boxes on a conveyor belt or mixing a liquid in, in, in a tank. And then you have a PLC that regulates the movement of the, um, the process. Um, and then you have a PLC programming software for that PLC. Now in order to transfer data to a SCADA software we have an OPC uh, server that takes the data from the PLC all the way to our SCADA software. So for this example, I would use Ignition software here at this step over here, right at the end. Um, so I have Ignition Getaway web page and Ignition Designer. Both of them are a SCADA software. Now in a separate video that I'm going to upload um, very soon, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you a demo of how to use Ignition uh, software. So showing you how to transfer data from the PLC uh, programming um, software using an OPC server all the way to Ignition um, software. Um, regardless of what PLC you're using, um, regardless of what the devices you have, um, this process over here is very similar. In the meantime, you can check my course, uh, Learning SCADA on LinkedIn Learning, where I go through the theory part as well as a hands-on uh, project using Ignition SCADA software. I'm going to leave the link of this course um, in the description box below this video. So I cover so many topics in this course starting from the understanding what SCADA is, then going through the OPC understanding, the difference between OPC DA and OPC UA, and then I introduce Ignition software, um, and then doing the hands-on example over here um, using both Ignition Getaway and Ignition Design. And also if you want to learn more about Factor IO, which is the factory setting software and uh, the PLC connected component software, you can check uh, my course, the simulation software. And in this course, I have four projects with solution in order to understand and to gain more knowledge about the Factor IO software and the PLC ladder logic programming. And I'm going to leave the link of this course in the description box below as well. I will also leave a link to um, all my courses that I have on uh, LinkedIn Learning. I have multiple courses on PLC, um, industrial automation, IT foundation, etc. As always, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.